Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here, and in this video I'll be demoing off two hidden features in iOS 5. The first is a panorama mode, and the second is an autocorrect keyboard bar. Now before I uh, show you the demo of these features and show you how to get them running on your device, I wanted to mention that they don't work very well at all. Of course, they are still very buggy, and that is the reason why Apple has not implemented them at this point. Now, uh, but nonetheless, it is a nice way to see what features Apple may implement in future builds of iOS. Maybe we'll see this in iOS 5.1, iOS 6, or Apple may simply decide, decide to discard the features as well. So with that as an introduction, let's try out the panorama mode. So we'll open up the camera. And once you've got the feature enabled, you'll be able to head into options and you'll see the panorama uh, icon to select there. And according to the directions, you can capture the panorama by moving the uh, camera from left to right. You can begin by selecting the camera icon. So what's wrong with this uh, feature is that when you take the uh, panorama photo, the edges look very uneven and the photo just looks really sloppy. Uh, additionally, it's going to be even harder uh, to take the entire panorama photo here uh, just in this limited space that I have here on camera. But nonetheless, I'll show it to you. So we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and stop it there. We'll pull it up. I mean, this one doesn't look uh, as bad as some of them that I've seen, but you'll see the edges definitely don't look even at all, and it's just not even worth using this feature, really. Um, but let me show you one that I took outside. It looks much better. Uh, the edges are definitely much more even, and I was able to uh, take my time with this one since I wasn't uh, creating a video. Um, so you'll see, if I zoom in here, texture and the detail looks pretty good. So if you're looking for a good panorama uh, photo taker, of course you're not going to want to use this as your default method of taking panorama photos. I would recommend the Photosynth app in the app, uh, the app Store. But I hope Apple does bring this to the public once they've got all the bugs worked out uh, because it's nice to have it built right into the uh, native camera app itself. Next we'll try out the autocorrect keyboard bar. So we'll open up Notes and we'll create a new note. So you're going to see here, upon uh, bringing up the keyboard, you're going to see the autocorrect bar right there at the top. And uh, basically what it does is it brings up suggestions as you begin typing words. So if I type in Apple, or I begin typing in Apple, you'll see that is the first suggestion there on the keyboard bar. If I select it, it'll go ahead and replace it for me. You can go ahead and press space. Uh, it also brings up multiple options. So let's say I didn't mean to say Apple. You know, there's apply application. There's just so many suggestions that it brings up here, uh, which is really great. You can select any of them. It'll go ahead and replace it for you. Now, the issue with this feature is that you cannot uh, move on to another word without either selecting a suggestion or selecting the notes to move on. So let me show you what I mean. If I begin typing in Apple, let's say I typed it incorrect. I don't want any of these suggestions since I already typed it the way I want it. Well, you're going to see here uh, where the space bar would normally be. It's, it says next. So when I select that, it's just going to allow me to scroll in between the different suggestions and I have to select one before I can press space and begin typing the next word. The only way to get rid of that is by selecting the note itself and you'll see now it changed to a space. Uh, so I hope Apple does implement this because it is much better than the uh, current way of autocorrect or if they just have uh, a way that you can switch between words without having to, um, or insert a space between words without having to select a uh, suggestion. Uh, it should be a pretty nice feature. I know some people prefer the current method of iOS 5, uh, so if they have an option maybe or a toggle and settings that you can choose between them, uh, that would be great to see. So in the remaining half of this video, then I'll show you how to get these features running on your device. It does not require a jailbreak, so iPhone 4S owners will be eligible. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your device into iTunes so that iTunes can create a backup for your device. We're going to need to use this backup to edit some fi files in order to enable the features. Once that backup has been made, you're going to need to download a program. It is called iBackupBot, and uh, you'll see it right here in this window. I will provide a link in the description to go ahead and download it. Simply just scroll, uh, scroll down here, and you'll see it is available for both Windows and Mac. Once you've got it downloaded, then you go ahead and open it up, and on the left-hand side here, it's going to uh, load up all of your latest iTunes backups that have been made. So you'll select the one that you just made, so I have the one from Saturday, November 12th. We'll go ahead and open that up. Now we're going to need to locate two files in here. I will provide this text in the description of this video. The first one is for the uh, mobile slideshow, which will allow us to enable the panorama mode. And the second one is for the keyboard, which is, of course, for the uh, keyboard auto-correction. Uh, so what we're, you're going to have to locate this file. It may take you some time. It's probably going to be in a different order than what mine are on the screen. So I've gone ahead and already uh, checked, the, uh, found this one right here. Once you found it, go ahead and open it up. And you can select cancel to the message. 
And once you've got it open it up, uh, you're going to want to scroll down here to where it says disk space was low. And right after false, you're going to paste in these two lines right here. So you can just copy and paste them right underneath here as you'll see. Now, uh, the text underneath might be different, that's okay, just make sure you're uh, pasting it underneath where it says disk space was low. Now, in order to paste it in here, first you'll uh, copy it from the uh, description of the video, but in order to paste it in, you're going to want to select the insert uh, clipboard contents right here um, to put it in there. Then once you've got it pasted in, you can go ahead and save the file right here, and then we'll go ahead and close the window. Then we'll do the same thing for the keyboard, so we'll go ahead and find the keyboard file. I have it checked marked here somewhere. Okay, there it is. So you'll see it is the apple.keyboard.plist uh, file. We'll open that one up. You can choose cancel again. And in here, you're just going to paste under where it says the uh, body setup done. You can go ahead and paste in the keyboard auto correction list and the string yes string right into here with the same method, copying it from the uh, description of the video. Then just select the paste contents from clipboard right here. Go ahead and power it down. Then once you've got those two uh, texts, um, those texts added to the uh, files on your backup, you're going to want to select this icon right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to back up your device from, uh, it's going to restore your device from this backup that we just edited. And what that will do then is add those features right onto your device. Now just a word of warning, this is going to mess up your device a bit when you want to back up with iTunes later. It's not going to recognize those uh, st um, files that you've added, so it's not going to work right. So you can simply just remove the features then uh, by going back into the files, and you can just delete the text and you'll be good to go. Or you can just uh, restore your device from iTunes, whatever you want to do, uh, but you'll be okay. Now for the camera one, you know, that might be a feature that's worth keeping on there. You know, it's not a big deal. It's not going to affect your everyday performance. Uh, if it's on there because you can just choose not to use it or if you're something like the uh, keyboard bar there's no way to turn that off so you're basically stuck with it so I'd recommend removing that uh, if you are not liking the feature so that wraps it up for this video if you guys have any questions please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about these two features other than that please like it subscribe and I'll see you guys later